Joined by Kevin Griffin, the head coach of the Eastern Mennonite University women's basketball team. They were picked number five in this year's preseason poll. Coach, talk a little bit about what you've seen from your team so far in early season practice. I think we've worked really hard. I think uh, there's been some days when it looks really good, and you say, wow, this, this is coming together. And there's been some other days when it looks like we ought to put a tent over top of this circus because we don't look so good. And uh, I think part of that is the having eight returners and having eight new kids, so trying to get that mix and mesh. Um, is, is like I said, some days it looks great and other days you sort of sit there scratching your head and going, okay, we got a lot of work to do here. Like you said, you return eight players from last year's team and that includes a couple of all-conference performers. Talk a little bit about what you expect out of those players and maybe some other returners that could step up this year. Yeah, we have uh, really four potential returning starters and Shandell Taylor who started 16 games for us. Uh, Kaylee Yoder started four or five games but was the conference freshman of the year. Um, and then Sarah Lamnick was the other all-conference player and she started she started every game since she was a freshman um, and then Stephanie Reinheimer probably led us in minutes and so out of those four kids we're expecting um, not the same as what we got last year we're hoping that they've improved and if they've improved then I think we've improved and so that's what I'm expecting. Of your eight newcomers this year who do you expect to make a name for themselves in their first season? Uh, we have a lot of good kids that we're excited about. Marla Zumfeld's a kid from Indiana that shoots it really well. Uh, Raven Patterson is probably one of our best athletes. She's from Pulaski County. We're excited about what she brings and energy. Uh, Shakira Sykes is a kid that can play multiple positions, scores the ball, defends well. Um, Nora Osei is another new kid uh, that brings us some rebounding and toughness. And then Alyssa Brown brings another ball handler uh, with Kayla Baltimore. We, we felt like we needed some depth at that spot defensively and offensively, and we feel like those two kids, Alyssa Brown and Caleb Baltimore, are going to do that for us. Let's take a look at the league as a whole right now. And keeping the preseason poll in mind, how do you expect the season to stack up toward tournament time? I have no idea. I mean, you know, last year we were picked fifth and finished fifth, and so we're picked fifth this year, and we lost our returning, you know, leading returning scorer. So I don't know what that means for us. Uh, I do feel like we have some talent. Uh, it's going to be can we get along and how hard we work, and if those two things happen, um, then I'm excited for us. I'm not surprised that Macon is first. I mean, they had a great year last year. And, uh, and then I think, you know, some of the other teams that are ahead of us are really, really good. And I think seven or eight teams in the league return at least three starters. So it's going to be wild. It's going to be every single night it's going to be something. And, I mean, Virginia Weston's picked seventh, and they have four returning starters. So I don't know where the off night's going to be, but there's not going to be one. Well, Coach, thank you for joining me today, and good luck this season. Thanks. I appreciate it.